This is one race the entire country is watching, but the contentiousness and at times bitterness of this race may remind you of one that Alabamians faced five years ago. Our Laura Lawhead tonight is in the studio to explain. Laura. Hey there, Ben. This time back in 2017, Democrat Doug Jones and Republican Roy Moore were dishing it out to win the special election to fill a Senate seat here in Alabama. I spoke to them today on their reactions to Georgia's runoff and how that race compares to their own. It is a real battle in Georgia, in the South, in Alabama. Uh, we're very tribal. People put on their team jerseys. And that's who they end up go to, going out and voting for. They're all bitter races because of the party spirit and rivalry between the Democrats and Republicans. That's Democratic Folks, Senator Doug so Jones far. and Republican Judge Roy Moore discussing their thoughts on how Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker are running their campaigns. Herschel Walker is a flawed candidate uh, that was selected by Donald Trump. And I, I, he clearly, uh, in my opinion, does not have what it takes to be a United States Senator. They'll take every tactic they can to win. Uh, I think that it's a sign of the times that uh, politics is corrupt. Uh, there's a lot of false things going on in politics and they all happen to appear right before the election. These campaigns <laughs> conjure memories of their own rivalry in 2017. Ultimately, Jones was elected senator with a nail-biting 50% of the vote to Moore's 48. Against it was President a historic and surprise victory President given Trump. Alabama's red stronghold. Trump. Moore still disputes the integrity of that race as he does now with Georgia's along with the, quote, last-minute accusations lobbied against him. I don't have any faith in a lot of the elections going on. On the other side, Jones says in both races, the Republican candidates don't live up to the standards of the office. They're similar in the sense that you had flawed candidates nominated by the Republican Party nominated by Republican voters. Moore didn't predict a victor in Georgia tomorrow, but Jones says he's confident Warnock will win, as long as people vote for the person rather than the party. We don't have to flip states blue. They don't even have to be real deep purple, but we need to have a competitive two-party system for states to flourish. Jones says if Warnock wins a second term, it could set a new president for Democrats across the South. Reporting in the studio, Laura Lawhead, CBS 42 News, 